I've, I've never quite been able to crack. But I think as I age, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of able to get a, a slight idea of which between the two is better. Is a, a question here of youth versus experience. And we're seeing that in this rally so far, at least by day three, which, on which we're on right now. Youth versus experience, which one would you go for? I, I, I really don't know. That's a catch into two question. But of course, experience is very good because you see someone like a privateer, Jordan Sardellis, which actually who is 59 years now, a privateer, but slightly, I think, sponsored by uh, Ford Puma. He's, he's, he's still doing well and he is out of experience. So, gee, at the age of now 40? In December, he turns 40. He turns 40. He's, he's, he's pretty good because currently he has won uh, two events, mm. the Monte Carlo and the Guanajuato, Mexico. Yes. So uh, that is actually out of experience. He doesn't panic. He's been there. Wow. He turns 40 in December. Uh, they say life begins at 40, but in rallying terms, that might be a bit on the other, the higher side. That's why we're classifying him as experience, as opposed to Carlos Rovenpera, who turns 23 this year, mm -hmm. although he's got a perfect CV, so to speak, but he's on the youth side. Kego, your thoughts? Well, youth versus experience? Well, uh, of course, the young Turks are in a hurry. You know, the young Turks are fearless. They, they lift the bar, they, they, they lift the bar higher. But there's something to be said about experience. For example, in our sister sport, Formula One, we're starting to see a, a, a re return of some of the older drivers. Uh, people like Fernando Alonso are having lots of success, you know. Um, and so maybe a mix of youth and, uh, and, uh, and experience uh, can provide some uh, entertaining sport. Who knows? But uh, definitely Kale is, is the driver to watch right now. He seems to be unable to put a, a tire in the wrong place. And, uh, but OJ also, uh, he knows what it takes to win a, a tough event like this one. So let's see. Is there any rank outside apart from Carl uh, and OJ whom we are concentrating on because of their first and second position, respectively? Um, OJ first and Carl Rovenpera second position. But is there a rank outsider? from what we've seen so far. I know it's a bit too early to call, but today we should start seeing uh, uh, we shut the wood from the trees, yeah. so to speak. Yeah, definitely the other Toyota drivers are definitely still contenders. You know, Elfin Evans, uh, Katsuta Takamoto are just hovering right there. Are they? Yes, and um, uh, Esapeka in the Ford is also not doing t uh, too badly. So it's, uh, like you rightfully said, today is day three, the toughest. By the end of today, we can start probably seeing uh, what's going to happen. And so it's, uh, it's, it's a tricky event. Daudi, are you seeing uh, any rank outsider here? I, I, absolutely. Estapeka Lati is, is, uh, is, is, is quite good. He's quite good. He's just there, uh, just there hanging somewhere around. Any uh, chances? Uh, oh, absolutely. They are they eight, they eight even to tackle the, the sleeping warrior which is actually the toughest, which is, is almost 32 kilometers. And they're saying it's a killer. It's a be, being ahead, what matters most actually is, is, the, is the, the finishing line. That being a leader right now doesn't really matter so much. Cool. You, you take cool and make sure that you're not hitting the rocks. You're not overspeeding. And there's quite a bit of you, rocks you make, there. You make sure that you're taking care of, of your tires. And that is the most important thing. Like what Wahome said, crawl. Because at the end of the day, mm. you might even uh, come up the winner. Yeah, if I, if I might add also, we're reminded of the first time Yuha Kankunen came here in a Toyota. He was a young man, had never been to Kenya, and he came and won it. And so Esapeka is here for the first time. Who knows, maybe Lady Like will, will smile on him. Okay, mm. let's just stick with you for a second. Because there's this main safari rally event. Mm. This one we're talking of right now. This one we've just had a, a live feed on. And, of course, we're talking of Sebastian Auger, we're talking of Carl Rovanpera, but where are the Kenyan rally drivers? Of course, they're not up there competing against. And you give us the dichotomy. Yeah. The Kenyan National Rally Championship, KNRC, where does it fall within the larger picture of WRC? Okay, I think the way to best analogy to explain it is like the Champions League football. You know, you have the guys at the, at the Champion League, you have the guys in the Division 1, you have the guys in Division 2. So you have UEFA so, Champions League, yes, so you that's have w UEFA Europa League. So that is WRC is the top. Mm -hmm. And then as you come down, yes. you have the WRC 2 cars. That's UEFA Europa League. 
I would assume. Then then you have the WRC three cars. UEFA Conference League, which are still regional championships, mm -hmm. and then now you have the Kenya National Rally Championship, which is a Kenyan event, and that Premier is Premier League. So to speak, Premier League for the country. For the country, yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. English Premier League. Yeah. For so example. that is the best way to understand it. Okay. We are. They are all in the same rally. They are all going to cover the same distance. Yes. But they are definitely not competing with the top guys. Uh, the guys at the back, uh, Kinaisa Amwari, I really can't can't really be said to be competing in WRC One Cup. They are in the national championship and they are collecting points for their national campaign. So that's why they are running in the afternoon. Yes, yes. But we saw Carl Tundo. What's Carl, he doing Carl there? Tundo is, 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 is also taking collecting points for the WRC2. His car complies with WRC2 uh, regulations. So he's also scoring in the UEFA, UEFA Champions League, I guess. So we'll have a lot of coverage um, just to let you know. Yeah. Um, we'll give you a proper heads up in the afternoon. Uh, as, uh, as, uh, as regards the Kenya National Rally Championship because that one is taking place in the afternoon. Yes. Today, today, mm. today, so don't touch that diet. Just to stick with us. Yeah, they also did yesterday. Yes. They did, they did the second loop yesterday. Yes. And we already have some results from them. So, Carl Tund obviously is leading because he's highest up the leaderboard. Uh -huh. But uh, the other Kenyans are motoring, no major retirements yet. Mm. And so yes, I can see Karan Patel yes. there. I can see Makre Kemathi. I can see Chana. And I'm mentioning them in, in terms of how well they're performing. Yeah. I can see Nzioka, is it? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not that clear. I can see Vora. Someone Vora, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I can see... Isa Na number Natasha Tundo is leading the ladies. Natasha Tundo is in 11th position. Isn't she? Yes. She's, she's, she's doing the quite ladies. well. Yes. And she's a younger sister to Carl Tundo. Exactly. And their father, Frank Tundo, Frank Tundo is also first the race in, in yes. the Kenya Safari Rally. It was known as the East African Safari Rally then yeah. mm -hmm. in 1972. Yeah. And their mom, Lean, is... Um, she's got a lot of rallying experience mm -hmm. as a course clerk. An official, yes. An official. Mm -hmm. So... A rallying family, mm -hmm. even mom knows yeah. so much about rallying. Mm -hmm. uh, what does a course clerk do? A any of yeah, you, they you they are, tell us? The clerk of the course is the unofficial boss of the event. They are the ones who decide when the event uh, is in play, yeah. what are the key decisions that are going to be taken. Yes. Clerk of the course is the one that decides them. Yes. For example, if there's a stop, if there's injury, if a helicopter needs to be sent for somebody, mm -hmm. the C of C, as we call them, is the mm -hmm. one who is uh, uh, the commander-in-chief of the event. Okay, so yeah. Jeremiah Wahome is on 12th position. 12th position yeah. Yes, and we've Tinashe got Gatimo. Tinashe Gatimo. Tinashe Gatimo needs to be mentioned because this the is a, this is a ma driver. mother and daughter team. Mm. Mother Tinashe is the daughter. Tinashe is the daughter. Caroline is the mother. She's Caroline. the navigator. Yes, and Caroline, it's also a first in many ways because Caroline has driven before. Yes. But she has never navigated. T Tinashe has never driven or navigated. Mm -hmm. So now the daughter is uh, driving and the mother is navigating and we wish them all the best. Mm. This just goes to show all the ladies out there, you know, rallying can be done by anybody. My goodness. They need, they need to be commended. What is the so far? Shegu, I can't see her on this mm. list. He's number uh, 18. Let's see. Uh, number 18? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just under, behind uh, Andrew Mirori. She's oh, still, still motoring she's and navigated 18. by Lynette uh, Ayuko. Ayuko. Yeah. So, still so motoring. They say that the, the, the most important thing is to finish the run. Oh, yeah. Safari is about finishing. It's safari not about, about winning. Finishing. Yeah, yeah. It's not about winning. Oh, so, Pauline is okay. It's Pauline is okay. still motoring. Yes. Okay. Mm. And this, this is as of yesterday. This is as of close have, of business. Have, yeah, as of close have. of business yesterday. Yes. Obviously, we don't have because. We don't have today's results. They haven't they have started, not yet started. Yeah, they they haven't started, started racing today. But as of close of business. in the afternoon. Yeah. Yes. Close of business yesterday. Yeah. Ah. So, this is not bad at all. Not bad at all. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Nikhil Sachania, mm -hmm. Saman uh, Bora, Evan Zioka, Jasmeet Chana. So actually, Karan Patel is mm. ninth, not top at the top, 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 as I, as I erroneously mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Kar Karan, I, and he's the uh, defending Kenya National Rally Champion. What yeah, does that mean for I, his I title? met him yesterday, and he apparently, I met his father, mm. and his father said that they, he had apparently driven three stages without brakes. So his brakes so had failed. Cost him so that cost uh, him a lot of a time. You, Can you, he recover? Well, it's the safari. Let's see what happens to the end of today. It's the safari, but he's pretty way back. He's mm. way back. Driving, in fact, getting the car back to service was a feat by itself. Does that dent his hopes of defending his title as Kenya National Rally well, Champion? Well, of, of course, you know, safari gives you double points compared to any other Kenya National Rally Championship. Mm. So you want to score as high as possible. But uh, the season is, is still still new. Let's see. It's still young. So you were down at Naivasha yesterday, met yeah. his dad. Yes, yes, yes. That's brilliant. 
Ah, Daudi Kanja. Yes. It would be a crime against humanity if I didn't ask you what you thought of that media coverage that we've just seen for the last one hour. You told me yesterday that Voice of Kenya used to do that kind of thing back in the day. The helicopter yeah. following the yes. rally car and going the extra mile, commentating from the helicopter to studio, Kenyans everywhere, wherever they were, within the borders of the country and perhaps just slightly be beyond the borders would receive that information live on radio. Yes. What do you think of this coverage? Well, it is, the, the technology right now mm. is, 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 is quite up to it. It's like we are with it. Well, of course, during the cultic safari rally, mm. which was done by the likes of Sami Louis, Leonard Mambo, uh, Salim Mohammed, and then Mohammed Abdullahi, that was also the real time because they would actually give us uh, whatever was happening at, as, 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 the, as the car moves. But you see now, with, with this kind of technology, even there is even timings. Uh, yes, we can, we, we, we can be screen. able to see that at this particular point, at maybe two kilometers, uh, Carl was able to move faster than Oje. Mm. So this is a real time thing. You know, the cameras inside that car, we are able to see even the, the reaction of the driver. And uh, it's exactly quite commendable. You can even hear the navigator talking. Mm. Yes. yes, you can yes. hear him talk. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's the, amazing. The, yes, the, the, there's even a, there's a clip in another rally where the the navigator was it the driver was fined because in the car he started to use some oh, la language that is he not mm. is not uh, becoming of him, uh, and he was actually sent a fine by the FIA. He, there's a rule that that, mm. that that is called bringing the sport into disrepute. disrepute. So today there is no hiding. There's nothing you can do that the world or the officials can't see. Even we were watching some of the cars cut a corner. Mm -hmm. You know the cars are trapped by satellite. So the stewards will look at that and they will measure how far were these cars. Because if I'm not wrong, the rule is five meters. If you're five meters off the track, that is a cut and you're, you are going to get a penalty. So was he penalized points-wise or cash-wise? The one who spoke badly was cash because the cash is also provided for as a fine, as, a, as a, something that can happen to you. Mm -hmm. But cash is not so much painful to them. What is painful is the time mm -hmm. because that affects whether how you perform. So there's a big debate about the, those those punishments, whether they should be just time or fine. But uh, you know, when you're driving for Toyota and you're fined thousand mm. dollars, it's really not so. It to should be fi the, the point. Probably is time is even be better. Be yeah, it's, it's more. It will make bigger difference because there are children watching. Exactly. And then you start swearing. Yeah. It doesn't. Or, or, or maybe. Or maybe. Or maybe the, the feed in the car should not be real time so that it can be edited. Because I can I can imagine in the heat of the moment. In the heat, uh -huh. heat of the moment. Mm. Something has happened. You know, maybe you have rolled. You know, so sometimes you might say something, yeah, you might say something that I know it happens in our cars. Harmlessly, yeah. Of mm. course, you know, you're not trying to insult anybody. You're yes. just, it's an expression of uh, fear, anger, whatever. So, but these days with the technology, as Kanja was saying, mm. there's no way you can hide. You, you, you loosen your belts before the car has stopped, mm -hmm. disqualified. Those penalties are no, are no more actually. I remember even one time, Thierry Novell was supposed to do uh, say like eight kilometers yes. with that uh, kibaki of the maze. Mm. And then I would call myself uh, Joginda Singh or Sheikh Ameta. And we would call, we would really compete seriously and get flagged off. Uh, and that's how dreams are made. This, this is a fall. This Look, is a you, ended up, you ended up meeting all these people. Uh, I ended up best, meeting all these people. The best of the best. But uh, again, go, going back, back in the village, yeah. my, my dream was to be a bus conductor, you know, <laughs> and hit that bus. <laughs> hit, you know, like but those, you can see that's still vehicle involved. Those buses. You can see that's still, yeah. You know, those kind of stuff. Mm, mm. But then here I am again. It's a, it's a, it's a God plan anyway. Yeah. If I can so just add to that. Yeah? Le, le, we'll, we'll just hold that thought. Let's go to Naivasha. Bernard Okumu is waiting for us. Let's not disappoint him. Yeah. And let's not disappoint the rest of Kenyans who want to know what's happening on the ground. Bernard Okumu. Yes, thank you so much once again, uh, Tiras. Of course, uh, this uh, the soy sambu stage having been done early in the morning, and the drivers, just uh, a couple of them, making their way from uh, that particular stage, uh, going uh, to the service uh, station. Then, uh, of course, uh, waiting for the uh, afternoon loop. But so far, you know, they have done two stages: the soy sambu as well as uh, the sleeping warrior. So it will be interesting to just uh, see how the cars. Of course, as you can see, the cars are coming out and uh, Takamoto Kasuta will be yes and that's the leader Takamoto Kasuta who 
actually he has he's uh, at the top of uh, the he did win the ninth stage and uh, it will be interesting how he's been uh, trying to hold on to his lead of course in the second uh, among the drivers that have really put up the test to Apologies for that technical hitch. That's live television for you. But you've got a feel of things. One inch here out in droves to support the rally drivers. And you've seen one of the rally vehicles quite muddy, suggesting, Kego, that it could have rained in some section or the other. The, uh, like I said earlier, Sleeping Warrior is the, is the sting in the tail. And it, even uh, two years ago, that's where it rained and caused all the drama. And uh, the rains are so localized. In fact, some of the competitors are saying that they don't see this in other countries in mm. Europe. Mm that uh, it can rain here and five kilometers down the road is dry. So you find that the guys who are at the back of the stage, the, the back of the park, the leading park, are the ones who found the rain. Mm. And that just completely destroyed their event for that, for that day. So if it's rained in, uh, in Sleeping Warrior and looking like uh, Takamoto's car looks a bit muddy, yes. then let's see what the second loop is going to be like. It's going to be quite uh, Don't challenging. Uh, uh, am I exaggerating when I say climate change could be playing a part here? Because yesterday the weatherman had told us that it will rain in Naivasha. It didn't exactly rain. And as Keko has just said, it's unpredictable. The weather patterns are unpredictable right now. Is climate change playing a part, do you think? The climate change is really doing a lot of uh, st stuff to, 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 our, to our environment. And that's why even the WRC, uh, one, one of the emissions is, is, is a sustainable environment. And they are, that's why they are doing a lot of campaign for plantation of trees. And, and this sleeping warrior for last year, that's the thing where Thierry Novell okay. hit a tree, oh. hit an acacia. Okay. <laughs> pole, pole, pole. <laughs> Let's go back to Bernardo Kumu. Yes, thank you so much, Tyrus. Of course, uh, this uh, the exit where we are still in Kikope. This is the exit for the uh, second stage. You know, after they have done with the first loop as well as uh, the second, the the first stage, of course, was the Soisambu. The second stage is the Sleeping Warrior, then the Elementator, and the three loops are already done. So the drivers are making their way. This is their exit way. They are making their way to the uh, service station as they are waiting for the second loop but so far maybe to just to bring you up to speed with who has done what is during uh, the ninth uh, the ninth and tenth stages of course Takamoto Kasuta who made his exit earlier on is the man who is at uh, the who did take that particular stage Takamoto Kasuta just uh, 26.01 seconds ahead of uh, the Hyundai's i20 Esapeka Lapi, but also uh, Sebastian Oje taking the, uh, the the 10th stage, which was uh, the Elementator, and of course, all, all this is just uh, the Toyota Gazoo team, the Toyota Gazoo racing team, who are dominating, and all the signs maybe so far have uh, from yesterday up to today points uh, to them uh, continuing uh, dominating this uh, particular safari rally, but Danny Schuist also from the WRC3 category. Remember, we have a couple of uh, uh, drivers, Kenyan drivers actually, who are also competing in that particular category. The likes of Hamza Anwar, who yesterday had a little bit of uh, trouble with his car and um, dissolved and had Pirelli punk, uh, tires, really. Um, the debate is about them. They were, the, it was the punches galore yesterday. But let's see if um, the Hamza Anwar, as well as Karan Patel, who are racing in that particular uh, uh, category, can really uh, match up and, and bring joy back to Kenyans. Uh, maybe the f rally fans here, they are, let's see how they are excited about uh, seeing the rally cars drive past them and also how they are ready and willing to just cheer the, cheer the, the rally drivers who are here. Ujambo Lakini. Ujambo. Njoko nye TV. Naitwa nani? Naitwa Jackson. Yes, Jackson. Yeah. Nimekuona ukipiga picha muda wote. Kwa hivyo wewe ni shabi kwa magari. Mimi ni shabi kwa magari nimekuja kujionea safari rari. Eh, uh, umetoka wapi? Nimetoka Nairobi. Uh -huh. Eh. What, what's the interesting? Ni nini hasa ambacho kinafanya unashabikia magari? Mimi napenda tu kuona vile hawa drivers wanapeleka gari mbio. Eh, yeah, nimependa tunapendezo tuna hayo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Na labda unashabiki any any driver ambaye Kenya, wale wa Kenya ndio wanataka. Any specific? Hapana. Hamza Anwar, kuna Karan Patel, Hamza, kuna Hamza ndio huyo, Hamza ndio wangu huyo. Hapo sawa. Asante, asante. asante. asante.
Uh, Ujambo. Ujambo sir. What's your name, brother? My name is Gideon Langat. Yes, Gideon. Yeah. Uh, you you from here? You come from somewhere to come and share safari rally? Yeah, nimekuja hapa kuangalia safari rally but tumbani si si mbali. But nimekuja kujiona safari rally hii ni mara ya kwanza. Yeah. Mbona mbona mnapenda magari? Ah, spend like mimi mimi ni wa football. Napenda football sana. Yeah. So but nimeona kuja angalau tuje enjoy it. Yeah. Safari ile kwa mara ya kwanza labda since 2021 ireje? No no. I mean I think this is my by my by first time mm-hmm. first time I mean. mm-hmm. yeah yeah okay those Thank are just a, a couple of rally fans here who are, are lining up the roads here to just cheer the uh, the drivers as they make their way from uh, the Soisambu stage we'll be keeping on giving you the reaction and the feel on the ground as the WRC Safari Rally 2023 enters the penultimate stage remember it's uh, ending tomorrow in KBC Channel 1 later on in the afternoon it will be bringing you uh, the second the second uh, uh, live uh, stage that's the Elementaita 2 in the evening uh, in the afternoon I beg your pardon for Channel 1 from uh, Kikope in Naivasha and Bernard Okumu back to you Tyrus Wayaki Thank you Bernard good stuff lovely smiles out there guys are happy and so are we when you're happy it rubs off on us I think you guys are doing a fantastic job because you can see um, the driver who, who whom um, Kanja I think it was you gave a chance yeah, I wasn't even giving him half a chance when I said uh, rank outsiders I was only giving Sebastian Auger and R- Ral Ka- Ro- Rovan Pera Rovan Pera Carl Rovan Pera a-, a chance mm-hmm. but now there come your rank outsiders leading uh, at a, at a crucial stage this be, this being Saturday so I think that's brilliant stuff um, that is what he called the rally you know, mm-hmm. anything can happen unpredictable unpredictable just like the weather which you are talking of just like bef- the weather before we broke off yeah you, did you finish on that or do you want to i i i, I you I, finished on the weather i don't know whether it's going to rain I, 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 yeah. i never had a time to check on the aku weather mm. but uh, they, 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 those rains could happen any time if you watch the live feed which we had earlier the, the even the commentator one of them he said that um, the weather patterns have been absolutely unreliable you can't predict and and that's what i'm attributing sort of to climate change okay what well, my no it's true the, mark, eh. it's true the weather, weather is very unpredictable especially around that region uh, uh m- maybe it's the the warrior uh, con- controlling the the weather mm. so that uh, the, the the rally can be interesting the the drama is that uh, conditions change or well, might conditions. be the sleeping warrior is still asleep because julian porter would actually was saying the rains are coming but maybe uh, he's still. They, they could be coming somewhere around three when they are doing that look two of the sleeping warrior you know mm. and uh, this is what what i'm looking forward to that that muddy path mm. yes. that is what i'm going to make this really very interesting we don't want to see fish fish now it's okay. that, that that that's skiddy skiddy yes, kind of yes yes the the, the, the monsters mm. as, they, as they move towards doing those loops that's 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 my that's my 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 call if i can just add to that the 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 slippery conditions are very fun to look at very nice very entertaining but i can assure you it's terrible for us in the car we, we don't like those conditions at all at all at all and for us fans that's yeah. what we want <laughs> <laughs> for we have nothing to lose <laughs> we have nothing to lose <laughs> the, the, the funny thing <laughs> is that uh, i mean yesterday you did mention of uh, the, the rains and it didn't rain Wahome said it would be it was actually windy at the time and Wahome is down on the ground Daniel Wahome and I thought okay wind is usually a precursor to rain mm-hmm. but I, I don't I, I don't remember getting any report of um, rainfall out there now that we're on the environment and climate change and so on and so forth just remember that the government is encouraging us to ride on this safari rally wave to increase our forest cover so let's plant those trees if you can plant one tree two trees is even better three four the more the merrier let's increase our forest cover and fight climate change the proper way the, uh, before it fights us we say we control change before change controls controls you wangari baba said it uh, i mean uh, it has no mass eh? nobel laureate she said yes. nature is cruel yes. and yes. unforgiving yes once you destroy the trees yes that's why it might be we don't even have enough water in Nairobi. it has to be rationed Oh. Okay, well, true, 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 true. We need trees, more trees, more trees, the better. 
motor is the better. And we need more rally drivers. So we were, we were on that topic before we broke off earlier. It's a, an expensive venture, but I'm sure you, you can encourage sponsors to sponsor young talent because, Keiko, it's a good venture. It's a good venture. Uh, spons sponsorship of the safari, of course, you get, you'll get a lot of return on investment because, uh, I mean, the world is watching. I keep saying to people that uh, for this week, uh, Kenya is, is being watched by the world and it's not your usual African fair. You know, you know there's, there's news that is uh, traditionally from Africa and uh, safari is not it. So we, we are being viewed at in such positive light. The beauty of our country is being showcased all around the place. And so if you're an advertiser, I mean, it's, it's, it's perfect for you to have your, uh, your, your, your logo or have your company out there. So sponsoring is, is a good venture. You look at that young kid they're yeah, being carried yeah, yeah, yeah. by his guardian. The, the other thing I wanted to mention before we went on break is that, you know, the younger people, mm. maybe now they're beginning to understand, but I don't, I don't think they really understand the time when Kanja and myself used to watch Safari. You know, when Safari was in April, was uh, during Easter. You know, the whole country used to come to a standstill. Okay. The newspaper, front page, back uh, page, was about rally. That's true. Yeah. I I say just to add on to that, this, I, this thing is really huge for Africa. And I think it's the only, only event in Africa. Is held in Africa. <laughs> yes. Okay. Order, order, honorable members. Let's, <laughs> <laughs> before, before we break off, it's time to take you back to a small bit of Swahili because we are selling something to you that you need uh, for uh, matters environment, matters domestic use. Here we go. Je, unajua unaweza kuhifadhi maji ya mvua kwa gharama nafuu kwa kutumia dam liners kutoka Elgon Kenya? Maji ya dam liners hutumika musimu mingi kwa umwagiaji mimea ili kuongezea uzalishaji na hata usambazaji maji ya matumizi ya nyumbani. Dam liners kutoka Elgon Kenya watengenezaji wa Elgon Dabiti fertilizer Elgon Kenya transforming farms and lives through technology kwa maelezo zaidi piga simu nambari 0717888777 ama 0733509090 that's o seven one seven eight 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 seven seven or o seven three three five o nine five o nine give it a go and make the most of it well we'll see you for our afternoon session there's more coming up while rally championship and the kenyan national rally championship as well is kicking off in the afternoon thank you so much for your company do continue staying with us.